I've heard that I should definitely buy organic for everything that's on the dirty dozen list. Is that a good rule to follow? No, actually. Um, so here's something I didn't realize until recently. Um, the way that the Environmental Working Group creates its Dirty Dozen and Clean 15 list is they look at how many detections of pesticide residues there are on different foods. They have a couple different ways of looking at how, like how many uh, samples of this food have two or more? What's the maximum number of detections on this sample? Um, what is the average number of detections on this sample? And what is the total amount of pesticide residue found in these foods? They're missing the context, which is how much is okay. That's not in their math at all. And so different pesticides have different tolerance levels set for different crops based on uh, what's either the, an acceptable daily intake level or a chronic reference dose, which is an amount that is considered safe to consume every single day for your entire life without it causing any health harm. They take from toxicology the no observed adverse effect level and apply a safety factor to come up with these limits. So it's already way lower then the level from toxicology studies we know is safe. And that's regulated. That is uh, why there are biomonitoring programs like the USDA pesticide data program that samples like 10,000 different foods every single year and measures 300 different pesticides and pesticide metabolites to make sure that our food is safe. So the Dirty Dozen is not actually using that context. They're just looking at how many uh, positives are they? That's reflecting how sensitive the equipment is that's measuring the pesticide residues. That has no correlation with whether or not the amount that's there is problematic. And uh, studies that have actually evaluated the uh, legitimacy of the Dirty Dozen list conclude that it's not scientifically credible. I Look, I have, I have that study right here. So, so this, this wonderful study uh, was published in 2011, and they conclude that the methodology used by the Environmental Advocacy Group to rank commodities with respect to pesticide risks lacks scientific credibility. They actually go through the amount of the top 10 pesticides in every food on the Dirty Dozen list from that year and show that they're hundreds to hundreds of thousands of times lower than the chronic reference dose for those commodities, meaning there's so many times lower than the level that we need to even start being concerned about. So uh, I did not know this about the Dirty Dozen list years ago. This is something that um, I have only learned recently and I'm, I'm frustrated, I'm disappointed because there's so much fear mongering using numbers that have no context into how much of this chemical do we need to be worried about. And I think that the, uh, the appropriate thing to communicate here is that fruits and vegetables are really health promoting, whether they're organic or conventional. What people are doing with this fear mongering from the Dirty Dozen list, there have been consumer reports where they they ask people like, what are your what are your behavior habits, right? Different surveys. And there was one survey that showed that 60% of people were concerned about the pesticides in their produce. So what did they do? 71% of them avoid eating vegetables and 59% of them avoid eating fruit. That is the opposite of what is actually helpful from a public health standpoint. So what would be far more important to communicate is that conventional produce is perfectly safe. It's equally nutrient dense to organic and it's important to eat more fruits and vegetables. Are there other reasons we might to want to choose organic? Absolutely. Maybe it's concern for the farm workers and their exposure to pesticides, which is much, much higher than ours, right? That might be a good reason to choose organic or ecological reasons, right? Looking at soil quality. There's other reasons. I'm not saying organic food is bad, but it is a myth that organic food is safer or healthier.